Hello, I'm Dr. Roderick James and I was born in Trinidad in the West Indies. My first ever job was teaching and I taught math. I did that for two years and then I went on to the University of the West Indies where I did a bachelor's degree in electrical engineering. In my third and final year in electrical engineering, we had a Fulbright professor from the University of Missouri, Columbia, who came and was our visiting professor. Uh, we got to be good friends and I came to the University of Missouri with him where I completed a doctorate in electrical engineering. My years teaching these math courses has shown me that students are generally not as well prepared as they can be. And we decided to make these videos so that we can help students better prepare themselves to be successful in their math courses. This project has a most unusual beginning. I was teaching college algebra in the summer of 2009. And after my first class, one of the students came up to me and said that he had a friend who needed to take this class. After I completed my first semester back in school, I decided to take off for the summer because I knew I was going to be taking a course college algebra and I just had a fear that if I took it in the summertime, the speed of the course would probably go faster than I wanted, you know, being that I hadn't been in school for a while. So I had a friend of mine who decided to go ahead and take the course and at the end of the day for the first day of school he called me and said, hey man, there's this teacher that's teaching this course and you need to come get in this class, man. He's a really great teacher. Now that incident in itself was unusual. Up until that time, I had never had a student come up to me and tell me that a friend of his needed to take my class. And actually, that has never happened since. So I said, okay, well, you know, maybe I could come by and ask, you know, ask that professor if I could just sit in the class and sort of just gauge that decision. Was it the right decision for me to make at that time? So I went in and I uh, met Dr. James and I told him, you know, hey, I'm considering uh, taking this college algebra course. I have a buddy here in the class and he really highly recommended you. And I just wanted to come in and take a look at, you know, what would be happening throughout the semester. Well, the next morning at eight o'clock, Sean Henderson showed up. At that time, he had not even registered for the class. So I told him to have a seat and take his notes. And that at the end of the class, he could register. So I sat there in the class and uh, really enjoyed the lecture and the approach that Dr. James took. And uh, one of the things that Dr. James commented on was, hey, I'll make myself available to you guys if you need additional help. Well, we went on to have a successful class that summer and Sean did well. Little did I know that that was the beginning of a great partnership. At the end of one class period, I lamented aloud that there was never enough time in class for me to get over all the material I would like to cover. We had uh, a discussion about that and I said, well, what if we actually videotaped, you know, you doing some lectures and that way students could watch them away from class. Little did I know it at the time, but that was the birth of my madcast. After class, Sean and I got together and we started discussing ways that I may be able to solve this problem. And we came up with this idea that maybe we could make a set of videos that covers the course material. For the next seven months, we worked diligently, we looked for feedback to put together this college algebra course. And in November 2010, this was complete. We were able to really put together a solid course. A student can watch this course. They can get the syllabus from their professor, follow the courses that we have on their iPhone or iPad, 
and simply be completely aware of what's going to be taught. And I can tell you from my own experience, when you step into these classes and you may have been away from them for a while, everything every day seems to be brand new. And with this application, we were able to change that process because you can actually view it before you go to class. I spent 27 years in the oil business and I traveled all over the world. When that career was over, I started teaching MBA students at the Keller Graduate School of Management. I was astonished at those students' lack of knowledge of money and how interest and financing actually works. I kept telling my students that the numbers had a story to tell and they should pay attention to what that story has to say. We use math every day in our lives. It is a shame that so many people are in awe of this subject. My mission is to educate students to the power of math and to show them how they can use math in their everyday lives. One student at a time. The development of these videos can go a long way to the accomplishment of that goal. I love math. Now, you may be questioning how come a college professor and a filmmaker could get together to collaborate on this project. Now, my only answer to that is that it had to be divine intervention. But here we are, and we are collaborating on something that is to the benefit of all students. What we have in common is a passion and a drive to make math more accessible and better for the students. Another good thing about this student or filmmaker professor uh, collaboration stuff is that Sean helps me to be down to earth. Now there are many times in the shooting of these videos I will make a statement like, well it is obvious that s such and such is the case. Well it's not obvious to the student that such and such is the case and Sean keeps me down to earth. That, no, it's not obvious. Explain why that is indeed the case and that helps me.